What's up creators? Springtime here in the Mad Lab. We're gonna try a little something different. I know I haven't been posting a lot of content lately and that's because we're making some big moves. What are those big moves? Well, I just bought a new place with the new Mad Lab and a bunch of property. So we're gonna do a bunch of uh, cell phone videos from here on out, just upload them, just jibber jabber. You know, we got four project cars to move, some Harleys, dirt bikes, you name it, bunch of projects on the go. Um, I'll give you guys a quick little walk around. The 1974 Plymouth Barracuda. Sorry, this one here is a 73 Plymouth Barracuda that we're working on. And um, sorry for the shaky hand. I'll get a little gimbal or something here eventually. But this 73 Cuda we're rebuilding into a AAR tribute car. Right now it's just getting mocked up. We got a lot of parts coming in for this car. Tomorrow we got about a two hour drive. We're going to pick up two inner fenders driver's side frame rail and shock tower as well as back here we have this really expensive but the most effective way to replace your frame rails sorry about this the most effective way to replace your frame rails floor pans on a cuda challenger etc is this right here this is an entire trunk pan trunk extensions left and right frame rail cross member shock support, uh, trunk floor area. This is an entire unit here with all the leaf spring mounts and then torsion boxes there. It's really expensive going this route here, but honestly drilling out your spot welds, buying individual trunk pan, frame rails, trunk extensions, gets expensive. So this is gonna be going in the back end of the 73 Cuda. We got the Harley Sportster flat tracker build all done here. Got a custom seat all made. I made the rear seat out of metal, added some bead rolls, bent it all up on my brake press, and uh, got that nice little cool, I don't know, hexagon stitch pattern added in there. Added in there. All right, so there's this Cuda here, which is gonna be going on the trailer soon. And then we got some, a bunch of projects in the sea can. Ooh, what's over here? Behind here is a 1986 Pontiac Fiero Ferrari kit car that I'm building for my dad. It's already on the car trailer, ready to go to the new place. We got our sea can. I used to build snowboards out of this out west. It was kind of my shop I had at the time. And uh, we're gonna be relocating this to the new property. And then back behind there is the 76 El Camino, which we're putting the Cuda front end on and calling it the El Cuda. So we're not selling that, we're keeping that. Let me turn off this fan here. And then back over here, we have a fifth wheel trailer we gotta move, as well as this 1974 Plymouth Barracuda. This is the one that we picked up from Manitoulin Island here in Ontario, Canada. And we started off with just a shell. I got the trunk lid, spoilers, doors, hood, fenders, roof, full interior in it now. And uh, this car here, is gonna get built into something pretty friggin' wild. We're gonna just have fun with this one. Probably do like a uh, track car, drift car maybe. But you can see here, we got a full steel front clip on the car now, which is pretty rad. And uh, yeah, that's kind of that guys. I'm gonna upload this video. I don't know about thumbnail tags, etc. I'm just gonna post it so you guys are updated on what's going on with Mad Creative and um, yeah keep watching leave a bunch of comments if you're going to enjoy this new style content and me just walking around talking and i'll keep posting all right guys ciao ciao Ooh.